Hello, welcome to Form 3 Mathematics, Chapter 4, Scale Drawings. This is the part 2 of the lesson. And in this uh, part, we are going to learn about drawing the scale drawing. So before we start, we try to recall what we have learned in the part 1 video. So we learned that what are scale drawings. And also the second main thing we learned in the previous video is the formula of the scale which is equals to the measurement of a scale drawing over the measurement of the object so remember we always express scale in the form of ratio so this fraction here have to be um, you have to convert the fraction here to ratio form so let's start our lesson for this video there are three ways to draw the scale drawing of an object so the first way is using a grid paper of the same size for different scales. For example, draw the scale drawing of a shape ABCD, which is a trapezium, on a grid using a scale of 1 is to 2. So for this case, notice that the grid size is the same. They have the same grid. But when we draw, we draw using a scale of 1 is to 2. So this is the object. And now the drawing that we draw here is the scale drawing. So we try to look at the scale again. The one here represents one unit of the scale drawing, but the two here represents the object. This means that one unit of our drawing here, which we are going to draw later, represents two unit of the object. So I think it's very clear that one unit here when we draw represents two unit of this so if we take sides a b when we draw these sides a b one unit here represents two unit of the object so we only draw one unit for side a b and we label it as a prime and b prime for scale drawing so for the rest of the sides i think it's very it's quite clear that this is half of this so one two three four for side a d there are four units half of it is two here for dc there are six units half of it is three so it's three here so the complete diagram of our scale drawing will be in this size so we recall the scale is one is to two so we try to double check our answers remember that if the this value is bigger then this means the object has a bigger size so we double check object has a bigger size than this hence this is correct we go to example number two draw the scale drawing of shape now we want to scale draw here the shape m n o p on a grid using a scale of one is to one over two so notice that again the two grids have the same size and now remember one represents one unit here and one over two represents the unit for the object so this means that one unit of our scale drawing one unit here represents half unit one over two is a half half unit of the grid here so let's take mn side uh, the sides of mn so one unit here represents half a unit here and the second unit is the second half all together from m to m there are how many halves there one half two half three halves four halves there are four halves means there are four unit here so if we draw m the side m n in our scale drawing it will be like this okay one unit represents half of this unit here the second unit represents the second half here and I think it's uh, very obvious now you know the size of our scale drawing is double the size of the object hence this is when this is three units when we draw this side and M, 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 all and all sides here three units here becomes six four eight then we complete the diagram which is as this three units here becomes six units here becomes double the size then we check back to the scale again is one is one is to one over two so one has a bigger value than one over two 
If this has a bigger value, this means that our drawing has a bigger size than the than the object. Now this represents the object. Now this bigger value, hence the size of the scale drawing is bigger. That is correct. Now, what happens when we try to draw using grid papers of different sizes? So notice that one of the sizes is bigger, one of the sizes is smaller. So let's look at the example. Diagram ABCD is drawn on a grid of one centimeter times one centimeter. This means that this is a square of a height of one centimeter and the width one centimeter. That's why it's one times one. So this is drawn on a grid of one, one times one. And redraw the diagram here, redraw this, the object, this is object, on the grid paper with dimensions two times two. Now we have a bigger square, bigger grid, two times two. Then calculate and state the scale in the form. Okay, we come to this later. We try to draw first. So for this part, actually, it's quite easy. You, you look at the object, there are two units. So when we draw here, it will be two units. So A, D, one, two, three, four, four units. When you draw here, it will be also four units. So we just calculate how many units here of the object, then we just draw on, the, on our scale drawing. So our scale drawing will look like this. Two units, two units, four units, four units, six, six. Complete the diagram. Now remember the question says, calculate and state the scale in the form one is to n. So we want to calculate and state the scale for this drawing. So remember the formula is, the formula for calculating the scale is this, measurement of scale drawing over measurement of object. So we need to measure one side of the scale drawing over the side of the one side of the object. So we look at the drawing again. We take this one easier. So we measure the length of A prime to B prime. Since it's two centimeter for each unit, so two plus two is four centimeter, four centimeter. And the corresponding side here is one centimeter, hence it's one plus one. Here is two plus two, four, one plus one, two. This is a scale drawing. This is the object. So it's four over Two. So for our scale, again, the scale drawing is 4, object is 2, so it's 4 cm over 2 cm. Centimeter, cancel off. Then we have, and then we simplify, we get 2 over 1. But we want to scale in the 1 is to n form. Hence, we need to write this in a ratio form. And then we want this value to be 1, so we divide this by 2. Divide this by 2, both sides have to divide by 2. And then you get this, 2 divided by 2 is 1, 1 over 2 is 1 over 2. We try to uh, double check our answers, you see, 1 is bigger than 1 over 2, hence this means that our scale drawing is bigger, has a bigger size compared to our object. So, our scale drawing has a bigger size than our object, which is true. Not that we can find the scale in another way. So, besides using this formula, we can also use this. The scale is also equal to the grid size of a scale drawing over the grid size of that object. So, remember the grid size of our scale drawing just now is 2 cm. 2 cm. And then the grid size of our object is 1. So, it's 2 divided by 1. 2 cm divided by 1 cm. And then, we try to state the scale in 1 is to n form. So we divide by 2 both and then we get 1 is to 1 over 2 which is the same answer. Now what happens if we try to draw the object, the same object, with a, uh, on a grid with a smaller size. So this time the grid has a size of 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 which is half of this and then we calculate the, the, the scale. Okay. So again when we draw this, we will transfer this drawing to here, uh, we just calculate how many units here and then we draw a b there are two units we draw two units four units four units six six so we just draw exactly the uh with the same um, number of units and now we try to calculate the scale the scale is the measurement of scale drawing over the measurement of object so we look at this we take side a b okay since one unit is 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 is one this one is 1 plus 1 is 2. So 1 divided by 2. 
Measurement of scale domain is 1, measurement of object is 2. So 1 divided by 2, 1 over 2, in the ratio form 1 is to 2, since this is already 1, this, this is the final answer. If you want to double check, the value of this is bigger means the value of the size of the object is bigger than the um, scale drawing. So we look at this again, size of the object bigger than the scale drawing. Hence, the answer is correct. How about drawing on a blank paper? So example number four, construct the scale drawing of triangle XYZ using a scale of 1 is to 1 over 2. So we are going to construct the triangle here, our scale drawing we are going to draw here. So one unit of our drawing represents half of the original object. One unit, every one unit we draw is half of this. So one centimeter we draw here is half centimeter of this. 2 cm we draw here is 1 cm here, 4 cm we draw here is 2 cm of the original object. So 8 cm that we draw here represents 4 cm of this side. So you can see that our scale drawing actually is 2 times the size of the sides here. It's double the size. So it's quite obvious that 3 cm of the original object, when we draw the scale drawing, it becomes 6. It's doubled. Since it's construct, actually you have to use, the, use a pair of compasses or use the protractor to draw this. So I'm not going into details of constructing a right angle triangle. So I'm just going to show you the answer, which is this. Don't forget to label this, the vertices with x prime, y prime and z prime. Now we double check our answers again. Since the value of this one is higher, since the value of this is higher than this, our scale drawing have a bigger size than our object. Now, in our previous example, we are given objects and we need to draw the scale drawings. Now, we are given a scale drawing and we need to draw the objects. So we look at the example number five here. Diagram shows a scale drawing on a grid to a scale of one is to two. Draw the actual object for the scale drawings here. So remember for our scale, the one here represents one unit of the scale drawing. This time this is the scale drawing. And the two represents two unit on of the object. Here is the object now. So every one unit here represents two units of the object. So since there are for the base here, there are one unit and two units here. So two units represents four units of the base. So basically it's double the size. Okay, so every one unit represents two units. Every one unit here represents two units here. So since there are four units here, the height here is eight. So the answer is this. Four becomes eight. So this is quite easy. We double check with the scale again. The value of 2 is bigger than 1 means our object has a bigger size than our scale drawing. So this is a bigger size than this, hence this is true. Example number 6. Diagram shows the scale drawing of an object drawn on 1 cm times 1 cm grid. So this one is 1 times 1 cm grid. Draw the actual object on grids of different sizes. So this is a scale drawing and we need to draw the object on different sizes. So when you are given grids of different sizes, we just calculate how many units for each side and we draw that many units, regardless of the measurement of the grids, the size of the grids. So let you see, here for this side we have two units, so we draw two units. The base we have three units, so we draw three units here. Four units for this height, four units. So the drawing will be this. So this is actually the object. This is the scale drawing. This is the object. Now the same applies to the second part. When we have 1.1 times 1.1 centimeter, regardless of the size, we just calculate how many units are there here and we just draw. Two units, three units, four units. So two units, three units, four units. Just draw it. Hence you get this as your final answer. So now this is the last part of this video, which is the last part of chapter 4, solving problems involving the scale drawings.
So here we have an example number one here. You are given a map where the distance between point A and point B on the map is 5 cm. Find the actual distance if the scale used to draw the map is 1 cm is to 5 km. So remember map is a scale drawing. So the, the distance between point A and point B is 5 cm means the measurement of our scale drawing is 5 cm. And the measurement of the object or the is the actual distance that we are looking for. Hence, if we rewrite this formula, we get scale equals to distance on the map over actual distance, which is 5 over actual distance. And the scale actually is also given here, which is 1 cm is to 5 km. So we write this in the form of fraction over here so that we can compare both values like this. The scale here is also 1 cm over 5 km because we write this in the fraction form. And distance on the map is 5, which is stated here, and we can find the actual distance. Now we rewrite this here and then uh, we just solve it by cross multiplication. This multiplies 1 cm, 5 km multiplies 5 cm. So we have this. Then we move the 1 cm to the right hand side. We get something like this centimeter and centimeter the unit we can cancel off and then 5 times 5 equals to 25 kilometers so 5 centimeter on the map uh, represents 25 kilometer of the actual distance now we go to uh, the next question if the map is redrawn the same map is redrawn with the new scale of 1 is to 200 thousand since the unit is not given here, so both have the same unit. If this is 1 cm, this means 200,000 centimeter. Calculate the length of the point A and point B on the new map. Now we are drawing a new map by using this scale. So again, we use the scale formula here. The scale here is this. 1 is to 200,000. The measurement of scale drawing is for the new map, so we don't know the, how, we don't know the length. But the measurement of the object is the actual distance which we already calculated in the previous question which is 25 kilometers so we rewrite this we write scale equals to distance or map over actual distance which is 1 is to 200,000 from here and then the actual distance is 25 kilometers now we solve this we can find the distance on the new map since the distance of a map the new map will be in centimeter Hence, it is, it is better we convert the kilometers to centimeter, which is 2,500,000. Then we solve this. We just move this here. So multiply. We calculate the distance. We calculate the values here. We get distance on the map is 12.5 centimeters. The last example in this video, given, given the diagram of a ballroom on a scale drawing. So this is in a scale drawing form. If the scale used is 1 is to 50, calculate the actual area of the room in meter squared. Notice that the units are different. This is meter, this is centimeter. After we calculate, we need to convert centimeter to meter. So in this case, actually we can use understanding to help us solve this pro uh, Just use understanding to help us to solve the problem. We look at the scale again, it says one unit represents 50 unit. So one unit here is refers to our scale drawing, which is using which uh, we are using centimeter. So it means that one centimeter represents fifty centimeter of the actual length. So eight centimeter in our drawing represents eight times fifty of the actual length. Same applies here. Since one centimeter represents fifty centimeter, hence six centimeter represents six times. 50. So this 8 times 50, it gets, you get 400 centimeter. 6 times 50, you get 300 centimeter. Uh, remember, we need to convert this to meter form so that we can find the area of the room, which is 4 times 3 meter, which is 12 meter square, which is, which is actually the, it's quite small here, but it, this is just an example. So that's it. So this concludes our part 2 video and also our lesson for the chapter 4. Thank you.